everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel, and today we're gonna to start a new little video series on the Universal Audio Lunar Recording System. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the first time you open the program, show you a few of the features on the homepage, kind of show you the basic overall layout and structure, um, and then in subsequent videos, we're gonna uh, import some audio, do some mixing, take you through all the features and functions of Universal Audio Luna. So if you're someone that's interested in Luna, there's a lot of videos on YouTube, but you come here to talk to Uncle Dave because I'm going to give you my um, honest reaction to what I think about Universal Audio Luna. Now, before we get started, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, if this is your first time here, go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I want to give you a free mixing course. It's right on the homepage. It's worth 100 bucks. You can't miss it. It's my gift to you just for visiting Home Recording Made Easy. And if you stay till the end of the video, I'm going to give you something else for free. So here we are on the Universal Audio Web page, uh, website here. This is the Luna recording system. Now, keep in mind, if you're someone who's interested in Luna and you're just kind of checking this out and you've never used it, be aware that this is only a Mac-based program as of the recording this video, which is May 16th, 2023. So if you're watching this in the future, you can check back at Universal Audio, uaudio.com slash Luna to see when and if it'll ever be available for Windows. I'm sure it will one day. Now, Recently, I did a video called the nine reasons, um, nine reasons not to switch to Universal Audio Luna that went back three years ago. And recently I did a follow-up video on that. Has Universal Audio Luna has improved? Should you consider switching? You'll see an image come up on the screen. Links will be in the description box below. You can go check out those videos to get my uh, more most recent um, opinion on whether or not you should check out Luna. If you're someone who is checking it out, I think it is a good program. They fixed a lot of those problems. And we're going to start today just by giving it a quick once over and a look see and give you my honest opinions about what I like and what I don't like, so on and so forth. So here we are on their homepage. We're going to open up Universal Audio Luna for the first time here, the Luna recording system. And when you open it, let me show you where what you're going to kind of see. It's going to load uh, your all your plugins, so on and so forth. And usually the first time you launch it, it'll take quite a bit longer. Every time after that, it doesn't take as long. So here is the the page you see when you first launch Luna. Now, what I like about this, and in general, what I like about Luna's recording system in this DAW is that it is very clean. It's very tidy. It's very simple. There isn't a thousand buttons all over the place and a thousand menus to try to find things. It is a very streamlined, clean, efficient layout and workflow. At least I feel that it is. So here's the home page. This if we look on the left-hand side, we have a series of buttons here. We'll go through each one of those buttons in this video here. Um, if we go to the top here where we have our Universal Audio logo and click on that, if you had a session already open, it'll go to that session. And then if you click it again, it'll bring you back to the homepage. Let me show you that. So I have a recent session here called JTS Luna Test. Let me open that and I'll show you what I mean. And we're gonna go through this page in, in another video. But if I click back here, you'll see I'm back on the homepage. If I click this again, it'll go to my latest session. So the very first button here is create, and here is our create new session dialog box. Now to the right-hand side where I wanna start first, this is really cool. So right up here, we have um, a Watch Luna Basics tutorial created by Universal Audio, which is pretty cool. You should check that out as well. But Uncle Dave's gonna give you a little bit more in-depth uh, tour of Luna as we work walk through all these videos, but you can check this out. Underneath this, they have um, the Universal Audio Luna live stream YouTube channel. If we click on this, let me show you this. This is really cool, and I highly suggest you go check this out. This is all the live streams that have been done by uh, Ben over at Universal Audio. And this is really fantastic if you want to learn you know, more about that stuff. This is UA Live, where they have all the podcasts and stuff, and people who use Luna and the Apollos. This is something really cool. You may want to check that out as well. Let me go back here. Um, here we have open artist sessions. When I click on this button, we're going to go over to the discover tab here. Let me show you. It's going to first log you into your account. It's awfully bright. Here we go. Now this is really cool. As you see, as we clicked on that, we went to the discover button here on the left-hand side, right? So that's no different than if I go back to create and just click discover, okay? And, we'll, and we're going to go through this tab here in a second. If we come over here to the Read Luna Docs, you'll have a complete 
operating guide or user manual on Luna. You can read that at your leisure. And then down here, if we click this button, we go to the knowledge base, which again, will bring you back to all the support for Luna on the Universal Audio website. So again, very handy, very clean, very easy to find. Next to that, we have on the left here, our create new session where we can create a new session. We can start from a template. If you have a, a template that you've already created uh, in the past, but if this is your first time here, you won't have that. You could create an AAF or open an AAF type file. You could change the tempo, the time signature. You could tap the tempo in. You could choose your location on where you want to save your session. And then you could hit create. Again, very, very simple. Um, so this is where you would create that session. And we'll do that in another video. Over here, you can open a current session from your disk. Right, if you had a disk drive. Or you can open the most recent session here, which we did a few seconds ago. Okay. So open, we'll open the, la the latest session here on our recent list. If we want to clear that list, we just click on the three buttons. We can clear from the recent, we can show in the finder. We can find and navigate to where this file lives on our computer that's in the recent list. Okay, so that's the create page. Again, very simple. We go to discover, this is where we were before. We have a bunch of stuff that we could do here, which is really cool. Over here, we have Explore. We can check out some virtual instrument and extensions that Universal Audio offers. We could check out the Universal Audio plugins. If you're logged into your account, and you will have to be when you first download Luna and you get your license, you're going to log into your Universal Audio account. And if you have any kind of special offers or any kind of deals in your Universal Audio account, you would find this here. And then you can also have a wish list where you can compile stuff for things you want to check out in the future. So if we go to Instrument and Extensions, that's going to open up all the instruments and extensions that I have available here. And you'll see them all here. You can demo or you can buy stuff. If you already own something, it'll say you already own this product. Like in the Neve Summing, API Summing, I own those. I own the uh, ATR-102, right? So you can see what you own and you can see in the dark gray here what you're able to either demo and or buy or you can save it as a favorite if you want to check it out later. Okay, so these are all the Luna instruments, all the VSTs and extensions, things like the summing. Okay, if we click up here above this, we can go back to our dashboard if we like. Now we can check out all the Universal Audio plugins. And once again, it's going to bring us to our hub where, we, where it has all of our stuff on sale, what we own, what's available, broken down by category. The one thing I will say about the Universal Audio shop, and again, we're inside of Luna, we're not, on, we're not out on their Universal Audio website, we could purchase and demo and do everything right here from within the program. Now, a lot of DAWs do that as well. Um, I'm a Studio One user um, by trade, and uh, they have something similar, but I will say, this layout and the way this looks and the organization of the way they do this, Universal Audio, is the best I've ever seen. It looks great. So here's some featured, their feature plugins. Again, I already own this one, or you can see which ones that I can buy. You can scroll down and see all their plugins, okay? Pretty cool. So you could go ahead and you can, you can navigate and look through all their different stuff, okay? You also have some custom bundles that you can pick. Universal Audio is always changing the way. You could pick any two plugins for 300 bucks or any three for 400 bucks or any six. So you could check all this stuff out. And I encourage you to spend some time going here. Now, over here at the top, you'll see where it says show my plugins, the ones I already own, or I can hide my plugins and only show me the ones that I don't already own, which is kind of cool, kind of nifty, because I have a lot of their plugins, but I don't own a lot of them as well, as you can see. Okay, so if we go back to our dashboard on our Discover tab, there's those two buttons. We go to my offers, it'll show me any offers that I have coming to me from Universal Audio. And you can see things that are on sale, things that are being offered to me, like the Mangley 2 preamp, I could get it $100 off. Over here, they have some bundles that are available. You could always check those out. These things are always constantly changing, and I highly recommend you wait until things are on sale. Don't ever pay full price for Universal Audio plugins. Generally speaking, I will say Universal Audio plugins are extremely overpriced in my opinion. They sound great, but they're overpriced compared to all the other competitors on the market. But when they put them on sale, they're really good deals. So you may want to check those out. Let's go back to our dashboard. And then again, we have our wish list. I don't think I have anything on mine. None, none, none right now. 
Over here, you can see a special offers again, any new releases of things that just came out. Okay. And then over here on the right hand side, this is also very cool that I don't know of any other DAW company that does this as much as Universal Audio. They have several and are constantly adding several high quality, professionally recorded multi track sessions in all different genres of music that you can download for free and that you can mix and work with. They'll give you everything from just the audio files to the entire Luna session with all the plugins already on the session and all set up and all mixed by whoever was mixing the session. And then you can strip it away and you can mix the stuff for yourself. Very cool. You could do this all free of charge. And there's a half a dozen of them here. Actually, it's quite a bit. So these are a lot of fun. You should check these out because it'll give you a good way to see how a session that's been completely populated with UA plugins and how the artist or, and or the producer or the engineer mix the song. It's a good learning tool. So that's our discover tab here from the left-hand side. Again, very clean, very easy, very laid out. Manage, if you click on manage, this is gonna show you all of the stuff that you have installed on your computer of the Universal Audio plugins here, okay? And you can see when things need to be updated and whether they're installed or whether they need updating. And then lastly, we have our settings tab. Our settings tab allows you to choose the audio interface we're gonna be using. If you're using a, a non-Universal Audio Apollo interface, it would be Core Audio. But if you have an Apollo, like I have, um, you can switch to Apollo. If you use Core Audio, it'll show you all the available interfaces on your system. You could change your buffer size, record mute, you could turn on or off. That's a hardware across the top. We have all our IO settings. Right now I'm recording this video, so my IO settings are my screen flow capture. We have a bunch of options on how we want to display the metering. Okay, here. Some MIDI options here as well. And then if we had any DAW controllers, which I do not, it would be here. So this also now supports surface controls, uh, dog controllers, things like the PreSonus fader port, things like the SSL UF8, and things like that. Okay, so that's our settings. And by the way, just so you know, as of the recording of this video, we are looking at version 1.4.4.3043. Okay, with this update, a couple of things became available that weren't in prior, uh, prior versions of Luna. One being the hardware controller, the other being the ability to use any other interface outside of a Universal Audio Apollo, the core audio, those things are new. So now that is our left-hand side here, right? So again, if we go back to create, we're back to our homepage. This is what you'll see when you open. And this is where you would log in and out to your account. You need to be logged in to use Universal Audio Luna. The other awesome thing about this that I really like, if you look here at the top right-hand corner, we have a thing called feedback. We're right inside here. You, if you find a bug or you want a feature request or any feedback uh, in general, you can write them a little email, attach any screenshots or files that you might have if you're encountering a problem and you want to use your name and your Universal Audio email address. Um, in this way, you could bring give feedback directly to the folks at Universal Audio to help improve and streamline and continue to um, you know, make more updates to the Luna system, which I think is great. And I know they read these because I know someone at UA that tells me they actually really pay attention to these quite a bit. So feel free to use that if you're having any problems or have any questions. Okay, and that is our homepage here. Again, really, really simple, super, super simple. What we're gonna do in the next video is we're actually gonna start from scratch, create a session. I'm gonna get you in here, show you how we import some audio like I did here. I'm gonna walk you through everything on this screen and how to navigate stuff. We're also gonna take a look at the mixer as well. We're gonna talk about some common and uh, mo mostly used uh, shortcuts that I like to use with Luna. And we're gonna start working in Luna a little bit from a mixing perspective at first. And then we're gonna get into a recording perspective and just get our feet wet on how we use UA Luna. So I hope you enjoyed the first look here and our first video and our video series here of the Luna, I'm calling it kind of beginner's guide. Um, go ahead and uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe so you know when the next video is gonna be posted. There'll be a handful of videos over the next several weeks walking us through Luna, as I just said. Now, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video. As I said at the beginning, go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com, especially if this is the first time you're here visiting Uncle Dave. I wanna give you a free mixing course. It's right on the homepage. It's a $97 course, absolutely free to you. Just click on that orange button. You can't miss it. 
check it out. If you like that course and you want to pick up one of my other courses on my website, and I have everything from absolute beginner all the way up through advanced mixing, recording, EQ, compression, everything to do with making music in your home studio, making it sound professional as possible. If you want to check out one of those courses, I want to give you a 25% discount. Use the coupon code YouTube25. That will take 25% off any course on my website. Check that out today. All the links will be in the description box below. And until the next Luna video, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Thanks so much for watching me today, everybody. I'll see you guys very shortly.